video files. They can be complicated, but there are some basics you can learn to help yourself out. The biggest thing to understand is when a camera captures an image to its sensor, from that moment on, it is no longer 100% pure details anymore. It's automatically compressed to some degree, no matter what fancy name the camera manufacturers call it. A camera uses compression to get from the sensor to the media card, then to your hard drive. And then it uses decompression to play it back, AKA codec. So let's talk about the different facets of what's inside those beautiful files. Container. Containers hold three things, audio, video, and metadata. Sometimes it's all in one and other times it's split up, but right now we're gonna mostly be talking about the video side of things. The container is basically the packaging. It gives you a sense of what's going to be inside. Containers are the easiest to spot because you can read the letters at the end of the file name. MP4, MOV, R3D, BRAW. These are all different containers, not codecs. We'll get to those in a second. Let's take a look at the main ones we use a lot. MP4. That's more like the bubble wrap parcel that you receive. It's smaller in size, more highly compressed, but still some mystery about what's inside. It's easy to ship and easy to handle. We use this a lot for streaming. QuickTime, DataMov. This is the giant box that literally anything could be inside of. No idea what you'll find. Could be one thing or a ton of endless boxes to drill through. Red, ever bought something that says, we cannot hide the contents of this item? That's what this is. It's like getting a bike and it comes in the bike package with the photo right on the side. We know what's inside of a red file because this came from a red camera. Blackmagic Raw is also the same thing. We know what we're getting when we see .braw. Other containers are Transport Stream, Avid Media Exchange, Windows Media, M4V, etc. Now, let's enter the file. You stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. When we rip open the package, we can finally see what we have. First thing here is resolution, the dimensions of this thing. The item in the box is actually this length and this width. If it's a traditional HD video, it's 1,920 pixels wide by 1,080 pixels high. If it's UHD, it's 3840 by 2160. And also scanning, is it progressive or interlaced? Most of the time it's progressive unless you're dealing with a broadcast signal. This is one feature of the item in the box. Secondly is frame rate. At the core, a video is a series of frames that play sequentially. And frame rate really determines how fast they are playing back. Movies are usually 24 frames per second. News is usually 30 frames per second or to be more exact, 23.976 and 29.97. Now we know how big our item is in the box, how fast it moves. Now the real kicker is, what does it look like? And we finally reached it, the almighty codec. This is where most of the confusion and heartache about video files comes from. The codec determines how much information is being kept or discarded. Most codecs balance file size with information. There are two major types of codecs, lossy and lossless. Start with lossy. Lossy codecs remove the stuff it thinks isn't necessary. Like in the Italian job, they took off any and all piece of the Mini Coopers that were not absolutely necessary so they could get away faster. A264 is the most popular Mini Cooper, AKA lossy codec we use most, especially for streaming jobs. The second type of codec is lossless. Lossless keeps everything it can. This is more like a gas tanker transporting thousands of gallons of image data. ProRes, Avid DNX, RED, which uses JPEG 2000, and Blackmagic RAW are all tankers, AKA lossless codecs. Despite holding more data, some lossless files like Apple ProRes and Avid DNX actually play back much smoother on most NLEs than some lossy files. That's because lossless files save every frame on its own, while lossy, in an attempt to save space, only keeps some of the frames. And your computer has to recreate the ones in between, which takes up more power. Now, if you want to go down that rabbit trail even further, it's called interframe versus intraframe codecs. But we aren't going to go through that looking glass today. Just remember, lossless means bigger files that save more information, and lossy means smaller files that save only what it needs. Codecs have a few settings you need to pay attention to. The first one is bitrate. Bitrate is how much data is being played back per second. How big is the pipeline? This is calculated by most camera makers and NLEs as megabits per second. 
Red uses a ratio system, six to one, eight to one, 10 to one. But for our purposes, we'll stick with megabits per second. The higher the bit rate, the more information it can transmit. Bitrate is one of the key factors when you are exporting to keep your file sizes down if you're worried about space or uploading files to the cloud. This can be a constant rate or variable, but that's another rabbit hole we're going to stay away from. The next aspect to remember with codecs is bit depth. How much color is saved? Or better yet, how big is the crayon box? The most common bit depths are 8-bit and 10-bit. 8-bit has 16 million colors, which sounds like a lot, but then when you jump up to 10-bit, that's a billion colors. This factor right here has the most impact on color grading. It's a process called chroma subsampling, yet another rabbit hole that you are free to go down and spend many years on. But you can see here an example of what that looks like. The image on the left is an 8-bit image and the image on the right is a 10-bit. And you can see the banding that is happening on the image on the left. That's the difference between an 8-bit and 10-bit image and having as many colors as those contain. So that's a deep dive on video files and just remember this. Containers hold the media and can sometimes indicate what is inside. Inside a container is resolution, frame rate, and codecs. A codec can be lossy, a Mini Cooper, or lossless, a tanker. Bitrate is how much data is transferred per second. Bit depth is how many colors are in the crayon box. And that is the magical world of video files.